Yeah, that move misses all the fucking time, dude. But when it doesn't, it's the best move in the game. <laughs> right, there's no reason not to do this. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath to I return your wrath. Oh my god, that's really good on double slash. I didn't realize. My turn. That's funny. Beep, beep, beep. It's cheap too, isn't it? All considered. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath to. I'm hitting him way harder than he's hitting me too, which is kind of nice. And I should break him next turn on his turn. I return your wrath twofold. Now it begins. Now it begins indeed. I fight for the blood boils. Have a good one, Sutton. Thanks for being here, dude. Oh. I still have much to learn. Oh. Oh. But well, that's what the uh, the description says, Mega. Reduces weakness regardless. Very strong, that. Very strong move. I kind of like that opener, because we need her. She's so good for this. Snake. Swift as a dog. What I love this move so much. Reminds me of Octopath One. Here I come. Beep -beep, beep -beep, beep -beep. So we're gonna break him next turn. So we really want to do this. Do, 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 do. Question is, if I break him, will she get a turn? Because I'd really like to do Armor Corrosive if I can. And the thing here is, if I do Armor Corrosive here, I can then throw two Fire Gems at him and break him. So I don't need her to do the knife. So I think I'm going to do that for the massive counter-attack we're about to hit him with. <laughs> we're going to hit this guy so hard he's not going to know where the fuck he is. Oh, she did the incidental attack as well. That was really cool. That was so cool. I'd forgotten that that was a thing. So now when we do this, we don't have to throw a heavy one because we've got plenty of small ones. He breaks and it's our initiative. So now we can start stacking damage because we'll still have it the next turn as well. We don't have to do it here. This is the break turn. So... What did we do last time? If there's anything I can do to make this spicy. Got interesting dudes. I could do some Akala, I guess. I could try Cleaving Blow to give her some kind of status. And because Temenos doesn't need the next turn, we'll hit really hard on this turn. What is that? Lower your four shield points with any attack? Oh wow, that's seems pretty good, right? Let's do that. It did how much did it do last time? I forget. Now it begins. Oh, but look at the turn order. Damn he's faster, isn't he? So we we lose out on him receiving the bonus, which is really sad. Because I really wanted that. Ah, sad. Wonder what this would do. Might as well do some stupid shit. This might hurt. Allow me. 
<laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it makes a funny noise too, which I like. How is my thief the slowest one? I don't understand. Reduce the physical defense and elemental defense of all foes for six turns and reduce their shield points regardless. Dude, I wonder if that's a good thing to use next turn when he gets everything back. I might not spend this here. I might just do a normal attack. I don't know how to use this character yet, but she's clearly got some skills that could make this potentially easier. I mean, it's a 3,000. I'll take that. And now the lady that I wanted to, to like, weaken him with, it's not going to come through on. Like, did I... Cor I did corrode him, did I? Yeah. I I'm having a brain fart. I did corrode him. He's fine. He's corroded, Chris. Stop thinking he's not corroded when he is. He's absolutely corroded, bitch. All right, stab him again. Oh, yes. He is corroded. There you go. Good damage. And then we can just for... We can bring the old man out just for shits and giggles, apparently. If I die next turn as Temenos, I'm going to be pissed. Because I need him. Have it. Slag. <laughs> he blocked. Perfect. Perfect turn. That's exactly what I wanted last time, and we didn't get it. So, her latent ability said... What did that say? Reduce their shield points regardless of their weak points. How many does this do? It only does one. But it did weaken his shit, which is good, because we can knife the shit out of him. So it's not the worst thing, because he is debuffed still. And we now have knowledge we didn't have before, but we don't need it, because look at the turn order. We can do another knife, and we can throw another fire at him. So we can use this to prepare for the damage that we're about to do when we get the break, which we need, because he hasn't even gone into the second phase yet. So we're going to abide. He's weakened. We're strengthened. Oh dear. We might even be able to get a buff off this dude. Yeah, let's bring the old man back. The old man's the MVP. Come, little lamb. Can you do anything? can't see shit. So, I'll use you to throw the fire. She'll start the ball going. Prepare yourself. And with our big lad, we don't have much MP left to do anything too crazy. We've still got the abide on him. We'll just do a standard attack. My turn. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And now, we have to kill him, because if we don't, we're going to have to get lucky. So, it doesn't make a difference, does it? I wonder if that makes much of a difference. I'm tempted to use the latent ability next turn on, like, a physical attack, just to be a douchebag. That's a thousand. Is it reminding you of speed, really, dude? So... We can corrode his armor, or we can attack him. I mean, he's already weakened, isn't he? So doing that's probably not a good idea. She's also the front of the turn order. So maybe surprise attack is good. Heavy footed, aren't you? It's pretty good. Oh dear. Got another turn. I didn't expect that, so I'm doing this. I'm gonna throw the the big gem at him. Can always get gems back. I'm not worried about gems. Perfect. That was insane. That's why mediums are good. That's why soul gems can save your ass on a run like this. Damn, we don't have enough, do we, to do any of the things that I wanted to do, but we can do aggressive slash. I kind of want to do Ichimonji Manji Minji, though. Allow 
Allow me. Let's go. Ah, this guy's he's just taking it and taking it and taking it. <laughs> what is he doing now? Oh, everything came off then. So now we can bust him. Bust him makes me feel good, right? And we've got lots of turns to bust him too. So I want to try this. If I hit him twice now, will this break two shields? Oh, it will. Dude, that's good. I didn't know it worked like that. He doesn't get two turns, Mega, because he dies this turn. If we break him now, he loses. Problem is, we have no resources which makes it really interesting, but we have full weakness on display, so we can do things like this, and this will work. And we know Spears is weakness, so we can use all these turns here to set up some bad things for him, like debuffs, buffs for us. Problem is I can't afford the buffs, so my buffing days are over. So instead, we do this to showcase his weak point right there. Oh, he died. <laughs> we got him. No need for <laughs> Fuck you.